Welcome back to White Mountains Today. My name is Chelsea Kupalowski, and if you're looking for an incredible theater experience this summer and fall, we have Carrie Greenberg and Danae Shazer here to talk about Weather Vane Theater. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yes, thanks for having us. Of course, so nice to have you. So tell us what this season is all about this year. What shows do you have running? I think the main theme of this season is just we want everyone to have a good time. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we have, right, maybe? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we have a lot of great comedies right mm -hmm. now. Cool. Uh, closing on Saturday, we have a really uh, touching but fun and Olivier award-winning, which is like the London version of a Tony, mm -hmm. uh, comedy called Stones in His Pockets. Yes, yeah. And it's two actors, but they play 15 characters in 90 minutes. Wow, so like, you truly have to be versatile oh, as an actor. <laughs> yes, I mean, they're incredible. It's also yeah. done very simply um, because just by the flick of a scarf, they're a new character or they pull their hat oh. down and they're, they're suddenly someone else. So it's super seamless, yeah. really touching. It's a comedy, but it also has deep themes as well. So it, it mm -hmm. actually kicked off our repertory season um, mm -hmm. at the Weather Vane. So um, yeah, as Carrie said, it closes this Saturday. But this then, Saturday, yeah, yeah, but then we mm -hmm. also have Honky Tonk Laundry, okay. which is also, fun, yeah. it is, it's <laughs> a lot of fun. It's a lot of country music, so popular country music that you mm -hmm. might hum along to on the radio, like Carrie Underwood, Reba McIntyre. Dolly okay, Parton. Uh -huh. yeah. And, um, but, mm -hmm. uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but done by two women, and it's um, set in a, a laundromat. Oh, fun, so okay. So go from the Grand Ole Opry to the Grand Ole Laundry. <laughs> So if that made you laugh, then you will that. absolutely you love this show. <laughs> well, there's also not a lot of musicals that feature country music, mm -hmm. really at all. You know, there's right. a couple, but just not many. So this is really fun and different. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. about it. Yeah. So. And like for someone like me, I grew up on Long Island, so like it's not the epicenter of country music by any not means. Not so much, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sitting there and I was like, I know this song. I know this oh, okay. song. Yeah. Like yeah. there's so many songs that are just universal. And also okay, like the yeah. show has universal themes of a friendship. And you know, so bring your best gal pal and Tell you what, them on Louise, they got nothing on <laughs> Lana May and Katie. So you want to check it out. Ooh, it interesting. Plays yeah. through August 3rd. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, that's really good to hear, though. It's not like someone who has to be a country fan. It's for everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you want a good time, it's very mm -hmm. funny. You will have a great time. Oh, fantastic. And when does that run again? It's playing now. Okay. Yeah. Alternating repertory, because we have more than one show playing a night. So you can come see a show tonight, and then tomorrow it'll be a different setup. So it plays wow. through August 3rd. Yeah. So our we have an incredible tech team. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a show, um, like, tomorrow night will be Honky Tonk Laundry. Yeah. And then, you know, that'll close. And then, you know, kind of like elves at Christmas time, um, <laughs> they'll come in and they'll switch out the set. And then the next time there's an audience in there, we have stones in his pockets up, up on the main stage. Wow. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like little elves who work through the night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly incredible. I mean, yeah. this is my first time working at a repertory company. So okay, to yeah. see it from, you know, my perspective and just to see the incredible people, um, all professionals brought in from all over the country to mm -hmm. work here in the North Country um, at the Weather Vane Theater is just, it's it's really a feat. And, yeah. and the Weather Vane packs so much in um, through the summer and the fall. So, mm -hmm. you know, no matter when, if you're visiting, this area or you only have a little bit limited amount of time or just a weekend you can mm -hmm. come up and see multiple productions um, on the main stage oh like yeah within one visit you'll be within, able, there'll be a couple mm -hmm. of shows happening yeah yeah yeah, yeah. which is credit which is really I don't think about that you know yeah. sometimes it's like you play the same show for two weeks and if you're there Right, you exactly. can only see that show. You can only yeah. see that one. Yeah. It used to be a more popular <clears throat> model of theater throughout the country, but mm -hmm. not as many theaters do it anymore. So it's a really special treat uh, to the North yeah. Country. You know, we're a little you know hidden gem out there. You, <laughs> if you are. are. Yeah. Well, it's so hard, but you do it and you do mm -hmm. it well. So. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> we won't argue with you there. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so what shows are, are next after Honky Tonk? Um, so mm -hmm. Stones in His Pockets will be closing. Honky mm -hmm. Tonk will continue to run okay, through yeah. August 3rd. Mm -hmm. But then starting uh, next week, Meteor Shower, a new play okay. uh, written by Steve Martin, if you're familiar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I know, <laughs> yeah. Powerful, actually. Yep, wow. and he, he also writes music, too. So, um, but he this is everything. just, a, yeah, he can do it all. <laughs> um, so, yes, it is a four-person play. Um, it's a comedy. It's a little um, absurdist is the, I don't know, genre, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's 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 a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like an offbeat look at marriage. 
you know, okay, so yeah. or just relationships mm -hmm. in general. And it takes place in the 90s. So if you're familiar with like the mantras of the self-help books um, mm -hmm. and sitcoms, like this will definitely resonate with you. Be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we actually went to uh, a run of it last night and mm -hmm. the actors are all incredible incredibly funny and um, nice. it features our two ladies from Honky Tonk Laundry and as yeah. well as Ethan Paulini who's our artistic director and then um, a new face who you will see a lot throughout the season uh, Patrick John Morin and they're all just they're really great like if you are looking to laugh then you should come see our show for 90 minutes mm -hmm. oh yeah nice yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I like that though 90 minute shows are Mm -hmm. Fabulous. The yes. right amount of time. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> no right. intermission, get in, get out. Mm -hmm. Especially with attention spans these days. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. absolutely. For yeah. sure. 100%. For sure. Mm -hmm. And I will say, new this year, um, the Weather Vane Theater has kind of outfitted a bar and concessions. So oh, um, yeah. it's definitely more of an experience to come to the theater. You can come beforehand, enjoy a nice glass of wine from local wineries and cideries, et cetera. Oh, and, then, wow. um, and then I think for Meteor Shower, since it's, there's no intermission, the bar will be open after the show so you can stay and just talk with your friends about what you just saw and and have that conversation that I know that me as a theater yeah. artist I love to have conversations about what I just saw you know I, I'm trying to unpack it in my brain <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like Carrie and I after the run through last night that we saw of Meteor Shower I was like in the car ride home just going oh my gosh like what did I just see you know and like I, I need that conversation and, today and even today <laughs> <laughs> so that's when you know yeah. theater is um, so poignant is that you know you're mm -hmm. still you know the the wheels are turning <laughs> and you have yeah, to you have yeah. to you know, talk with someone about it. So, and that's sort of the point. Sometimes is to get the wheels turning. Like mm -hmm. they ask those questions, they make yeah. you think about things. But it's so true. I didn't ever th thought about that because it's like you watch this incredible show, and then it's like it was probably pretty long, so you have to go home. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's time to go home, but really, you want to sit and talk about it. Yeah. So that's like right. so wonderful. And yeah. you enjoy a nice wine there, and it's yeah. like in the lobby area. So, yeah, it's mm -hmm. in our east lobby. We have a couple of lobbies. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's behind the theater, uh, and it also leads out to our deck. So on a beautiful oh, night, fantastic. you can sit out, yeah. look at the stars, enjoy some conversation. And also, if you're someone who maybe likes to absorb a conversation, but maybe not like lead one, <laughs> Danae actually oh <laughs> moderates some talkbacks for some of our productions. She did two excellent ones for Stones in His Pockets, and she's doing one for Meteor Shower yeah. on the 28th. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Those are on specific days? Specific mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. um, that there will be open talkbacks, so totally free if you have purchased a ticket for that performance. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, if you've already seen the show, you could come back just for that night after the show to see, to see or, or to participate okay. in the talkback. So a oh, talkback is literally yeah what it sounds like we're <laughs> talking mm -hmm. back to the audience and you have the opportunity to um, ask questions and wow, you know just yeah. after you've had time to digest as well mm -hmm. um, to talk with the artist and maybe even the director um, who had a hand in putting this production together. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, and all those dates are online. Try to find those. Yeah, Perfect. So you can ask, we have one coming up on July 28th for Meteor Shower, and then mm -hmm. we have another one uh, the opening week of uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, mm -hmm. which that one you can find on our website. If you go to the Midsummer Night's Dream page, it'll give you all the information you need to book a ticket for that specific mm -hmm. performance. And when does that open? That opens August 22nd. I'm like quizzing you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. May's yeah. actually August. associate directing that production. Oh, amazing, yeah. Yeah, we wear lots of hats at the Weather Bay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah, help out everywhere. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Yeah, all hands on deck all the time. Right. Same. Well, I think that's what's really incredible mm -hmm. about the weather vane is that it's artist driven. So okay, yeah. um, everyone, no matter what role they're in, like Carrie's one of her primary functions is the marketing director, mm -hmm. but then she's incredible on stage and is involved in many other productions and mm -hmm. aspects throughout the company. And that goes for most people on the administrative staff um, mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm doing a little directing, a little acting, but then I'm mm -hmm. also working in company management, which a lot of people that aren't familiar with theater don't know what that means, but it basically mm -hmm. means I help take care of the company, the people, mm -hmm. um, Who are the artists mm -hmm. that are, yeah, that are coming in, like I said, from all over the country to live here, we kind of move our whole lives here for a couple of months. And so mm -hmm. you've got to make it comfortable and it healthy yeah. and <laughs> yeah, yeah. have like a, a positive you yeah. know, company culture. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I think also having multiple roles in a theater, it makes everything better because when actors understand what goes on behind the scenes and then behind the scenes, you also know how to be are an actor. I feel like it just takes everything and everything just gets better <laughs> to, if you understand each other's roles. So I think a, th a theater that has actors in those positions, you understand your company so much more. 
Absolutely. and their needs and everything. So. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's incredible. But um, talk about your fall season then. You said you're getting into fall. Yeah, mm -hmm. so right before midsummer, which kind of kicks off the fall season, mm -hmm. we have this is incredible, incredible show. Dirty Rotten <laughs> Scoundrels, <laughs> which, Ooh. you know, once again, Steve Martin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we love He's Steve Martin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, four years ago, we did Bright Star, which Steve Martin wrote the music for, which oh, yeah, yeah. is not as much of a comedy. It's more of a play with music. Beautiful. But if you loved that, you know, definitely come back. Um, but, you know, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is just a lot of fun. We're actually both in that one. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it only runs for three weeks in the month of August. So be sure to grab that. Uh, go grab dinner at the inn before coming and seeing the show. Make mm -hmm. it a whole experience. Um, yeah. And, you know, for anyone who doesn't know that story, it's basically an alluring woman, two con men, the French elite, <laughs> lots of chaos and fun, very silly. Like if you were like, I just want to go out and like see people like belt their face off, dance really well, <laughs> sing and laugh, then you should come see Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. It also uh, stars uh, mm -hmm. Robert H. Fowler, who's our, our associate artistic director. He's been on a, a bunch of Broadway shows and we love him dearly. He's a staple of the weather vein, so mm -hmm. you definitely want to check out that show. But then after that, we have Midsummer Night's Dream, and then following that, we have Mamma Mia, oh, that little title, yeah. the little sleeper hit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> lots of uh, lots of ABBA, lots of seventies oh. glory. Oh, just, just I love. It's Mama one Mia. of Danae's favorite shows. Let her talk about Mamma Mia. Is that why you came in the season? No, <laughs> no, but um, I I think it it sometimes in the theatrical world gets a little bit of a bad rap because people are like, oh, it's just ABBA music, so it's just, you know, flouncy mm -hmm. and fun. But I, I think that there's some really deep messages there, and I, I love yeah, yeah. I love it. I just mm -hmm. think it's just like, mmm, so sumptuous. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, and then you, it's just like wonderful music, yeah. and it's glittery and fun. So I just, yeah. I think if you're looking for a good time, Mamma Mia is where it's at. I mean, this entire season mm -hmm. has just so much to offer. Um, we also, it you know, it was already passed, but um, they started something new this year called the Knights of Northern Lights Entertainment Series. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a, a way to offer one night only concerts. And there's also a, a free movie night coming up, um, you know, oh, as, okay. as, mm -hmm to uh, promote Dirty Rotten Scoundrels that mm -hmm. we're offering a, a free movie night as well with that. Yeah, and oh, then we also have stuff for the entire family. Um, mm -hmm. Every Friday in July and August, we have what's called Picnic with Patrick. Mm -hmm. So we have our Patrick players, which is comprised of our interns. We have six fantastic interns that are hired through a nationwide search, and they uh, round out our main stage company, but they are also their own uh, youth troupe, and they Form shows that are for the whole family at the Weather Main as well as throughout the North Country throughout the week. So right now, what we have opening is called the Rainbow Fish. I don't know if you ever heard of that book yes, as a kid. Yeah, with the little with the fin. Uh -huh. Yeah, yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> I definitely like the little, little sparkly fish. Yeah, yes. I definitely had that poster on my wall when I was yeah. eight years old because it was so pretty, and I would just like stare at it. He gives away. All, I, I won't give away the ending. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Of, but, you, but you can come see it yourself playing yeah. now through the twenty eighth um, <laughs> at the Weather Main and on the road. Yeah. yeah. So we invite the whole family to bring like a pack a picnic and mm -hmm. bring the dog because all of our outdoor events are pet friendly so mm -hmm. um, but you know it's really affordable really accessible um, and then we have the old man and the old moon coming up which um, that'll be on our main stage as well as on our patchwork stage which mm -hmm. is if you want to bring like the whole family to have like a true like theater night mm -hmm. it's a really affordable way to do that mm -hmm. and then yeah. for your little young thespians at home we have Camp Windsock. Education! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so running from July 31st through through August 12th, we have a summer camp, a day camp, but okay. it's all theater. So they get all the little uh, building blocks of theater, but then they also uh, culminate in a production that is performed on our outdoor stage, and they can invite all their friends and their family. Oh, they and get a professional stage. Yes, yeah. yep, yep, and we'll take pictures, and it's a really, really great time. Uh, it's run by uh, Taryn Herman and Miles Burns, um, who do, do these camps all over. Um, in like the Portsmouth area of New mm -hmm. Hampshire, and we're very fortunate to have them come back for another season. Um, oh, all our campers really love it, and mm -hmm. you can learn more about it at weatherbainnh.org. And there's still <laughs> spots to sign up? Yes, and registration okay. is still open, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. How fun is that? You have just an incredible <laughs> season, and so much going on, events. All the information is going to be online. How do we get tickets, anything like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. so you can visit Weathervan, what, my 
Goodness, I cannot. <laughs> Can I help me out, please? <laughs> Weathervanenh.org. Mm -hmm. um, you can find all the tickets and information, dates. You can plan your whole weekend if you're coming up to visit us mm -hmm. um, from wherever you are. Um, and all of the information is there, even our education programs as well. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, truly. I feel like any, any day you want to go, there'll be something happening. One show. Absolutely. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we car, we feel it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so excited for your season. Have an incredible rest of season. Please get out there. Their shows are incredible. Their events are fun. And just get involved in theater because theater, it truly is magical. Like, it just takes you out of day to day life. So. <laughs> Which is good or bad, but yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming Our today, pleasure. and Carrie, we love having you here. Thanks. And you've been watching White Mountains today.